Hello all. Whenever we boot on the Windows system, you will either see this blue Windows logo, or your manufacturer's logo on your boot screen. Well, in today's video, we are going to show you, how to add a custom logo to the Windows boot screen. So the app we were talked about is called HackDGRD by Metabolics. So before we start, we first need to find out whether the computer is using UEFI or BIOS, because HackBGRT only supports UEFI based Windows systems. We can find it by clicking on search, and type system info. If your PC uses BIOS it will display legacy, and if your PC uses UEFI then it will display UEFI, like what you see here. Now we need to disable secure boot. For that go to start, and do a restart by pressing the shift key. Inside choose an option, select troubleshoot. Then advanced option. Now select UEFI firmware settings. Click on restart. Now we are in the laptop firmware, note the different brand PC has a different interface. Now look for the secure boot option, and disabled it. Now exit by saving the changes. Once the secure boot has been disabled, go to the GitHub site, and download HackBGRT. So after download, open the setup.exe. Now it will pop up two windows, let's click on this window. And hit I to begin the installation. We can close this notepad. Now paint window will open with the default image. You can draw your image or copy and paste the image here. Click on open, and select the image. Now click on resize, and change the pixels to 400. And click OK. Now we need to save the image in BMP format. Go to this PC. And you will see a new drive with around 96 megabytes of space. Open it, and click on the EFI folder, then HackBGRT folder. Now save the image as, splash.bmp. And click OK to replace it. Now close the paint and CMD. After the images are saved, close the program, and do a reboot to see the change. So as you can see, we have changed the boot screen logo. If you want to remove the custom logo and restore it with the original logo, you can easily do it by going back to startup.exe. And instead of I, you need to hit D. Now, it will reset it with the original logo. You can hit I, if you want to change to a new custom logo, or even resize the existing logo to make it match your taste. The main thing you need to consider while creating the logo is, you need to use a black background. With that said, HackBGRT is a great software that lets you personalize your computer. So that's it for today's video, if you like my video, and wanna see more, be sure to click the subscribe button down below, and thanks for watching, have a nice day.